Welcome everyone! In this video we're going to show you the new AI investigative agent in the AWS Security Incident Response Service. This new feature leverages AI to automatically gather and analyze evidence for you, helping you understand security events across multiple AWS resources and data sources. This feature can help you to reduce hours of manual log digging into minutes. Let me show you how it looks like in action, but first, quick context on the service itself. AWS Security Incident Response helps you to prepare for, respond to, and recover from security events faster and more efficiently. From automated monitoring and triage of security findings to automated containment, the service streamlines every step of the security incident response lifecycle. When specialized expertise is required, Security Incident Response gives you direct 24-7 access to the AWS Customer Incident Response Team, with experts responding to your request within minutes. This powerful combination of automation and expertise enables you to confidently scale your security operations, so you can focus on innovation and growth. Security Incident Response continuously monitors and triages security findings from Amazon Guard UT and third-party detection tools through AWS Security Hub. The service filters finding based on expected behavior, reducing alert volume and helping you focus on critical security events. You can grant security incident response the necessary permissions to perform supported containment actions as a response to alerts on your behalf. You can also integrate and leverage your existing tools, such as Jira, ServiceNow, and Slack for handling cases. Next, let's discuss our new AI investigative agent. When investigating a security event, analysts typically spend about half of their time just gathering evidence. You need to query cloud real logs, check IAM permissions, look up on EC2 instance details, analyze cost patterns, and eventually try to correlate everything in order to figure out what actually happened. With this new feature, when you create a case, the agent kicks off automatically and starting the investigation for you. The agent won't just run a bunch of automated queries. It will actually ask you for clarifying questions, like which resources are affected or which identities are involved. This makes sure the investigation is tailored to your specific situation. Once the agent understands the context, it goes to work. It pulls CloudRail events to identify suspicious API calls, checks IAM configuration for permissions and new entities, grabs EC2 instances details if compute resources are involved, and even look at cost patterns for unusual resource consumptions. Within minutes, you get a comprehensive investigation summary with a timeline of events, indicators of compromise, affected resources, and recommended actions. So instead of spending hours on log analysis, you can focus on actually responding to the incident. All right, let's jump into the console and see it in action. I'm going to navigate to cases and create case. Then I'm going to pick an AWS supported case. We are still going to get the customer incident response team member support shortly after creating this case, but our agent will start immediately. We'll pick an investigation. Now we need to input the case details. In our scenarios, we have leaked access key. We're going to start filling the details of the security event, suspicious activity from leaked access key. I assume it started about two weeks ago. I'm going to input the account ID. And then I need to fill in some additional questions. This is a free form text box. So you can input the case details in any structure or format you would like. We recommend you will try to answer those five questions. We'll start with what happened. Our AWS access key was leaked in a public GitHub repository. And we're also going to provide the username, user analytics data engineer. How did you discover the issue? We saw some suspicious API calls to our S3 buckets and EC2 services. What is the current impact? I'm going to keep it unknown. We didn't do much so far. And we look for help with identifying the root cause. So we're going to continue and provide additional details. 
I know that EC2 and S3 are affected. And the impacted region, in our case, is US East 1, North Virginia. I can provide additional information such as threat actors IPs, and I can also add additional watchers to my case. Right now, my incident response team will already will get the communications of this case. I will create a case. And as soon as we created the case, our AI investigative agent started to work. I will navigate to the investigation tab. So after the agent ran the first case analysis, it's looking for additional information about the case. What was the access key? Which IAM ARNs are affected? Which S3 buckets we saw the suspicious activity? We can provide this additional information and it will help our investigation. For now, I'm just going to skip it. Our agent is running the investigation in the background. So we can grab a cup of tea and come back in 10 minutes. Minutes later, we got a comprehensive investigation summary. We can see here our affected user. We have the exact date of the security event, the access key, which IP was used. You can see the user agent and the OS. We have some additional information about the exact API calls that has been made. So get caller identity, list buckets, and also attempts to access three different S3 buckets and create a new S3 bucket. We can see details about who created this access key. So we have here the admin, Mary Major, and we have some recommended actions and reviews that we should perform. So one example is to deactivate the access key and rotating the credentials for the user. If we scroll down, we can see additional information and different sections. So we have the case overview. We have the investigation findings. We can see the timeline of the activities. So when exactly each API call made We can dive deep into the recommendations and we have a conclusion. The information out of the investigation summary hopefully will help you to accelerate your incident response processes. The information is also available as a comment to the case and it's also accessible by the customer incident response team. So when they start working on your case, they already have this initial triage with this detailed information. So in this video, we've seen how the new AI investigation capabilities in AWS Incident Response can help you to respond to security events faster. With this new feature, you get a speed and efficiency of AI-powered automation backed by the expertise and oversight of AWS security experts. If you already have AWS Security Incident Response enabled, this AI capability activated by default. Just create your next case and the agent starts working. To learn more, check out the documentation in the description or visit aws.amazon.com forward slash security incident response. Thanks for watching.